BNP Paribas is a banker of choice uh, for uh, some of the largest MNCs, domestic corporates, uh, and financial institutions in the country. Uh, we've been in India for 160 years, and we partner with uh, with key uh, clients in uh, you know uh, for their financial needs. You know, when we started off in in Jan. Uh, I don't think anybody saw it coming that we would be staring at a pandemic where we are in a lockdown in India uh, for now five months. Uh, of course, the lockdown has been stricter, um, more relaxed, very phase-wise. But the fact remains that we are going to be in, um, if I can call it an era of contracted economic activity for a fairly long period of time. What does this do for us as a brand and marketing team? I think it has um, it has really shifted uh, the way we approach brand and marketing. Uh, to be very, very candid, uh, we are looking very closely at each and every spend that we have. While we have not seen budgets at this point uh, being adversely impacted, uh, we are definitely uh, getting enough indication that we need to make the dollar or the euro or the rupee as you call it uh, stretch to the most uh, which means more targeted spending uh, which means being very close to our clients uh, communicating the product communicating uh, our solutions to the clients in a very very targeted manner um, and answering uh, the questions that they may have with regard to the products and solutions that we offer, which for us are corporate financial products and solutions, uh, in a very, very uh, you know, direct, um, succinct, and um, tangible form. Do I see this as a long-term shift? Yes, it is. Um, because, you know, uh, this is a seismic shift, as I call it. Uh, we've, uh, we at BNP Paribas, I'm sure I speak also for a lot of the other uh, corporate banks especially, we really thrived on um, the physical space to connect with our clients, whether it be sponsorships, whether it be events that we did on our own. Um, a lot of that happened in the physical space. To me, the shift is for good. Uh, does that mean that it's going to be 100% virtual in the future? No. Uh, it's human, everybody wants to connect, but we're going to see a lot of money being spent on virtual platforms as well. For us, the virtual piece was negligible. It could probably be 20 to 30%, maybe higher in a post-COVID scenario. I would also imagine that a lot of lot of uh, you know companies like ours would be investing in virtual tools uh, to closely connect with their clients um, we would work closely with our clients to co-curate events uh, it would no longer be pure sponsorships where you hand out a check i think it would be uh, working with uh, a third party or working directly with the client to um, really market what you stand for, what your brand stands for. Um, where do we see um, the future of brand and marketing in that sense? Uh, I think it would be very, very uh, naive to imagine that we would go back uh, to where we were. Uh, sports, for example, continue to be relevant. They will be important. But are we going to see um, other categories emerge. Of course we are. Um, I think we're going to see more than other categories of themes emerge which are going to take center stage. Uh, sustainable uh, you know, finance, for example, a very, very important pillar for BNP Paribas and some of the other uh, you know, banks in the world. Uh, I think it will take center stage in India. So you will see a lot more conversations in this space happening on sustainable finance, sustainability, um, and a larger responsibility to the, the planet. Uh, we are going to see uh, conversations on financial products uh, being around those themes. 
Uh, how are we going to, uh, for example, talk about digitalization? To me, um, we've always spoken about digitalization in the retail context, and I think people miss out on the fact that corporate banks need digitalization as much as um, you know um, retail banks. So if you call it uh, the IIoT or the Industrial Internet of Things, you know, so from IoT, which is the Internet of Things, you move to Industrial Internet of Things. And uh, while corporate banks may have been slow to to adopt it. I think that's the only way going forward. So to me, these themes change. Uh, so platforms will change. Uh, am I saying 100% we go into a virtual world? No. Um, we will have the physical space, but I think for good, the virtual space has nudged in. My advice to agencies, frankly, um, and I can be very candid here, right? Um, I've only been seeing proposals which are very tactical. You know, uh, I know this is a time of survival. We're all trying to um, see if we can retain our accounts, get new accounts. Uh, but I think it's also a time to just step back, uh, to just step back and think that uh, how in the long term are you going to partner with me as your client? Um, to address my needs. So for that, you need to understand that how have I been impacted um, as a, a corporate bank uh, and perhaps irreversibly by this pandemic, which means you try to understand the kind of clients I go after, understand the products and solutions I bring to the table. You spend some time understanding my business, my brand, uh, what my brand stands for. Uh, there is for me, every time an email hits my inbox, there is a fatigue. It's yet another proposal for a webinar or a social media campaign, but it's nothing holistic. Uh, very, very strong suggestion. Please go back to the drawing board. Uh, times of crisis are great times to really look back, reinvent, and sometimes uh, really make an impact by taking that audacious risk in coming up with a proposal uh, which nobody's ready for.